Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. I'm Matt Pullen, and this is our place to share all about how to use your iPad creatively in your classrooms. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll be kept up to date on everything that we release. Now let's get stuck into today's video. Okay, so let's take a look at how we get started with Seesaw on the iPad. So first of all, let's find the Seesaw Class app. Now there's two apps that you can have. We're gonna start with the Class app. We'll take a look at all of these things a little bit later in another video, but we're just going to show you how to get started with a new class. So we tap on create new class. We give our class a name just for the purposes of this. I'm just going to say training, tap the tick, choose which grade you're in. Again, I'll just put other for the purposes of this. Then it's going to ask you to think about how you're going to add your students. So this is the critical bit, really, you know, but the students need to be part of this. So I'm going to go to invite students and choose how I want to invite them. And it's going to ask you whether or not students are going to sign in with a Google email, etc. or not. We'll go down the route of saying not at this point, and we'll talk about how we're going to use this with a shared device. But we can look at this as a one-to-one -one device as well. First thing I need to do then is start to add in some of the student names. I can just type these in manually, or you can see here that it does say paste a list. That can speed things up. Um, but once I'm done, tap tick. And it's going to get the students into the class. So this QR code here is how the students, if they were in the classroom with me, would be able to access that. So the simple process is I'm going to print out this document. This is going to give me a great printout that I can use in the classroom with the students. Highlight here it does say not to share this. I'm going to delete this class afterwards. And then I have the QR code that the students can simply join into. So what does this look like on a student device then? So the students would find the class app, they would highlight their student, they would activate the QR scanner from within the Seesaw app and allow access. And then as soon as they come into contact with that QR code, they're in my class. So now that student can access all of the learning that I want to share with them. Now we're going with to pause learning, here for a things second. are a little bit different. You're going to need to think about how your students can access this at home, but in the same way as they would use it as if they're in a class. So for this, we're going to go to the Manage Settings, which is the spanner, and we're going to change from Class Code Shared Devices to Class Code One-to-One -one Devices. Confirm those changes, and this is a security setting to mean that students will not be able to see each other's work whilst they're at home, because you want to protect their privacy. Now, the next step we need to do on uh, the computer, because what we're going to need is to get hold of those class codes to share out. So simply go to Seesaw on the computer through the web browser, and you'll see this extra icon here that says Get Home Learning Codes. This is a really important step for remote learning. So remember that when you're making your class. OK, so let's jump back into our demo. Now we've got our students connected to our class. I, as the teacher, can set them some activities. We're just going to look here at a simple setting of an activity rather than the activity setting afterwards. There are a range of things that you can add in. I'm just going to start with a note, and I'm going to, in this note, I'm going to set the students a little activity that I'm asking them to do. So I just want them to utilise some of the drawing functions. I create my note. When I'm done, I tap tick in the top right corner. That enables me to post it then to the students. I can post it to individuals, but in this case, I'm going to post it to all of the students. Tap tick again. And then that's sent that to the journal, that shared space that students would have access to. On the student's device then, you'll see that that now is going to appear pretty much instantaneously. And there's the task that they're being asked to do. On their device, they tap on the green plus, go to drawing, and here they have a whole world of drawing tools that they can use, change the colours, etc. I'm just going to very quickly draw a tree for the purposes of this demo. I can also tap on the text to add in some text descriptions, annotation over things that I've created, and also add in my voice. I might want to give some verbal description of the work that I've done. When I'm happy with what I've done, I simply tap on the green tick in the top again, tap tick to say I'm ready to share that, and then I choose who I am. So in this case, I'm Matt. And then that's going to publish that to the journal. Then back onto the teacher screen, what you'll see happen is at the bottom of the screen, I now get a notification to say that someone has uploaded something. I can go into that and check whether or not this is something appropriate that I want to uh, use and, and publish in the journal for other people to see. When I'm happy, I tap tick. 
and that is now in my journal okay where students will be able to comment on each other's work if we're still in the classroom or in this case it just tags it for those students to be able to see their own work if i tap on the individual student i can see the work that they've created or i can go back to the journal and see everybody's work so that's it really that's seesaw getting set up check out some of our other videos as we create them for how we can use activities 